Hey guys, today we're going to be reacting to Parallel World Pharmacy Episode 6. Yes, we are about halfway done with this series already. This season is just going by so fast. So far, we've had a lot of fun and, you know, good times with East Kai Pharmacy so far. You know, Pharma finally got his pharmacy two weeks ago, and now we put it into use, kind of helping the public with cosmetics last week. And we got a little dive into what the economy looks like with Pharma's pharmacy being involved. So, like, now we kind of have to see how it's going to impact other stores around him you know stores that are making these beauty products stores that are making these you know uh, moisturizers and other pharmacies as well and maybe that's where some conflict can come from um, as usual whenever we get into any kind of content that involves pharmacy drugs medical problems you know actual diseases i will definitely stop the video and make sure that we talk about that but um, la as last week, we didn't really get a lot of that, but hopefully we get some this week. Maybe the, the conflict starts this week as well, but I'm super excited to get into it today, guys. If you enjoy this kind of content on the channel and you wanna see more medical related anime, pharmacy related anime on the channel, please do leave the video a like and subscribe if you're new. Without further ado, let's get into the episode. All right, we're in a port somewhere. So this is not where we're usually, right? This isn't the same city. Cause I don't think they were in a port city. Are the family going on vacation or something? Look, there's there's our family. Marseille. So that's where we're going. Fast five past five years. Jesus. I think I haven't visited in that long. The arch douche of Oh. This is the land that they own? Prominent trading port. Medicinal herbs. We got fields here. Netherland East Inida Company. So, a uh, rival econ economy guild? I don't know. Belligerency writes his company with a, as a shield against complying with taxes. That was a mouthful. Free conduct of trade? Yep. So, not only are we getting into pharmacy, but we're getting into... Yeah, economics. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me Ellen Sensei's there. Tell me she's there. Siblings and the sea. We are going down to the beach. Okay. So maybe this is going to involve his sister? There's Lot. And his little sister. Aww. They're so cute together. Aww. Aww. She's so cute. I, how could you say no to that face? <laughs> Lot also wants to go. <laughs> uh, come on. Oh, <laughs> how can you say no to those puppy dog eyes? <laughs> Better watch them. Yes, Ellen's here. Oh my gosh. Beautiful as always. Hey, yo. Nice. That is too cute. <laughs> Look, they're having so much fun. Aw, why? Oh, because it reminds him of his little sister. Aw. <laughs> She's so cute. And he always said no. Oh. And then. Yeah. That's so sad. He's remembering that. That's so. That's. Oh. Oh shit. You gotta go get her. You said you wouldn't get in the water. That was a big wave, I guess. Oh, he's going. Oh, this man could swim. It was Michael Fel Phelps over here. Oh shit, he, she is getting dragged out far. A rip current. Holy shit. Oh no. No, dude, no. If only this water were gone. Deliver. Oh, he's gonna erase it. The water between them. What did he do? He erased all of the water around them. But why is it just standing there? The water just was like a pitfall. 
It's just staying put. Whoa. Oh. He was not supposed to show that to everybody. He's keeping it at bay. Whoa. That was awesome. But also, it's kind of terrifying. The fact that he's able to do that. It's slowly closing in though. Completely erased all of the water. Even in the sand. Look at all the fish. He would not let them take his sister. Now it's a whirlpool. Wow. Lot definitely saw that too. Divine negative attribute. Whoa. She compl he did completely erase it. Ooh. Oh, look, she's scared of him too. Oh. All he wanted to do was save Blanche. Okay, there we go. Oh. There we go. Oh. This episode is so. It's so sad but heartwarming at the same time. Oh. Oh. Wait. Yeah, that was multiple things he des destroyed. Oh, that's true. Yeah, the human body is a lot of water. We're all sacks of water, if you've heard that before. 70 to 78% water. So yeah, that's actually very interesting to bring up. I hope Lot doesn't isn't afraid of him now. Oh, see, he was worried about it too. Okay. Oh, oh that's why she felt bad. Oh, look at her. Oh. Everything about this is so... It just makes me want to tear up. <laughs> what? She's got a crush on him too. <laughs> a little bit. Aww. Okay, we got a thunderstorm going now. Perfect thing to sleep to. Kid with no shadow completely erased. Somebody saw that? And it's a church. Oh, somebody saw it. Oh no, here we go. So they're going to find out about his, his powers. Oh, they're, com they're coming for him. Oh, they want to take him down. Heretic. The church. Ends up being the bad guy. And here's the pharmacy again. They'll have to open another pharmacy. <laughs> oh, there they are. How did they find him so quickly? They're looking at his feet. No shadow. Oh, that, I wonder why. Temple priests. But not in the Empire, so it's a separate church? Oh, are they going to target one of the guards now? That's what it seems like. Oh, wait, is that one of the priests instead? In disguise? Or they trashed his pharmacy? Oh, what, what, there, oh no! Oh! What is that? Wow. So they, Wait, what was in that carriage? It looked like a bunch of dirt. That is true. Yeah, they should know about this. 
But it's got to be those guys from the church, right? The people in the white robes or the, the yeah, I guess it could still be one of the people from that guild. A calculated approach as usual from Pharma. Wow. Yeah, it was just a bunch of dirt. That's crazy. Purification. Oh, okay. So he killed all the bacteria and microorganisms in the muck. So he can still make his stuff. The old man again? Oh, that's nice of him. Aw, that's nice. That's nice. Look at all the people in the town that respect him now. Oh, that's so heartwarming. Man, this this show never ceases to make me smile, man. Oh, look at his face. What's going on? Heat stroke? Maybe? So heat stroke is actually the most serious heat related illness. It actually occurs when the body can no longer control its own temperature. Uh, the body's temperature usually rises very rapidly and you know your sweating mechanism which is your you know natural coolant um, actually fails and the body's unable to cool down if this occurs like somebody could actually rise their temperature their their internal body temperature to over 106 degrees Fahrenheit or higher within like 10 to 15 minutes um, which obviously can cause permanent disability or death because if your body is that hot it, it's your, your body just isn't made to operate under those temperatures and it can destroy your cells um and if treatment is delayed then um you know it can be fatal um so basically this usually happens to people who are usually you know hard labor workers working outside in the heat um and especially in very hot climates like it can happen anywhere though and where it gets very very hot and um, a lot of times you'll find it, that these people, whenever you find them, they'll be confused. They might have altered mental status. They could have hot, dry skin, or it could be sweating profusely. They, sometimes they'll lose consciousness as well, um, and it can lead to seizures as well. So it's very, very serious. Whenever, If you ever see somebody who might be having heat stroke, number one, obviously call 911. Number two, stay with them until medical services arrive. Um, also, just try to, if they're in a like open area with, the, with access where, where they're getting hit by the sun, make sure they really move them to a cool shaded area and right, remove any outer clothing that they may have and if you have access to anything that you can cool them with like like a cold water or an ice bath or you can wet their skin with something or plus wet wet placing wet cold cloths on their clothing or soaking their clothing with cold water that those these are all good ways also make sure to circulate the air around them if you can um, and obviously turn them over to the emergency services when they arrive let's go find out what it is is this a trap? Wait a second. Wait, this feels like a trap. I'm a little sus right now. Even if it seems legit. Yeah, this seems like they're trying to capture him. This is not going to be heat stroke or dehydration. And she's gone. Yep. There they are. Not good. They found him so quickly. Inquisitors from the Holy Kingdom. All right, so uh, Pharma getting captured by the Inquisitors, or not really captured yet, but getting attacked by the Inquisitors from the Holy Church. So whoever called that in the couple episodes ago saying the church might be an issue. Yes, it sounds like they're treating him as a heretic, somebody who has divine arts that shouldn't exist, maybe treating him like a demon child. Um, so they obviously want to get rid of him. And they found him so quickly. 
obviously that 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 big display of power that he had when he erased a giant portion of seawater to save Blanche was seen by somebody from the shore and then that was told to the the the, the church there so that's how they found out something like a big feat like that obviously somebody might see it unless they're in like in a deserted island which they were not uh man just just when you think just letting you know them splash in the water letting them just put their feet in the water and then a giant riptide comes out and takes your sister away that was such a sad backstory there you know we, we already knew about his little sister and how she died from you know an un incurable disease um and you know this just added on top of it and obviously added to the weight of Blanche getting taken out to sea there and you know Pharma's reaction to it obviously very very severe reaction to it um activating his power erasing all of the seawater and you know all of the salt as well in the seawater normally you know he said that he can only erase something when he knows the or he can make and erase something when he knows the chemical compounds in it. But, you know, seawater is actually a combination of many different minerals and, you know, salts that are in the water. It's not just, you know, water. Um, so he erased all of that because if he had just erased the H2O, H2O part, there would be a, like a deposit of all of these minerals and salts on the ground. Where it was just the sand and the sand was completely dry. And like he brought up, it was super dangerous of him to do that because, you know, you had Ellen and Blanche in the water and if he's erasing all of the H2O in the water or in that area that he affected he could erase all of the H2O in their bodies and if he does that they die like you're dead you're literally all water like your cells need water to survive you have to drink water every day to survive because you are a sack of water <laughs> so very dangerous uh, but this was a very like sad but also heartwarming episode there were some good moments afterwards when he saved blanche and lot and how lot felt about him obviously it seems like she's got a little crush on him now after she views him as her savior um but yeah the, the church you know this is going to be the conflict that i've been looking for guys i'm interested to see what their interaction with him is going to be can he turn them in his favor and show him the value that he has for the world or are they only going to ban random a, a heretic and try to get rid of him who's going to help him is he need help against these guys like is he strong enough to fight against them i don't know there's so many things that, that can happen from now there wasn't a ton for me to review pharmaceutical wise for this episode but i hope you guys did enjoy the reaction i will hopefully get some more of that type of content next week but we'll have to wait and see what happens in this next episode of parallel world pharmacy if you guys did enjoy it please do leave me a like subscribe if you're new to the channel and leave a comment down below what you thought of today's episode and we cannot end this episode we cannot end this video without thanking my patreon subscribers especially my god tier subscribers including my very first one misconstrue thank you so much for supporting me on patreon if you guys are interested in seeing my uncut un edited reactions before they ever hit youtube please do visit my patreon site if you are capable but if not totally fine i love talking to you guys on youtube if that's all you're capable of doing don't feel obligated to do it anyways guys thank you so much for watching i've been zach you've been you and i will see you guys all in the next one